Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we are actually going to be following in the steps of our last video, not, not because it did extremely well or anything, but because I think this one is actually a little bit more possible for us to pull off, and instead of last time realistically terraforming Mars, this time we're going to be doing Jupiter because I feel like there's a strategy we can use to... Uh, through things that could actually happen. Now, I'm not saying they're humanly possible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, they're, the things we're going to be doing here definitely aren't humanly possible, at least though, uh, for the long, long future. But, at the very least, it could happen uh, by chance, it, it, somehow, yeah. Um, so, we are going to actually just reopen the solar system. I don't know why I closed that. We're going to slow things down and we're going to check out Jupiter. Now something about Jupiter is because it is mostly gas, the large majority of it, let's check, uh, yeah, 98%. If we're able to heat it up to a point where it ejects that gas, we can get rid of a ton of its mass and, well, get it to a livable size, hopefully livable size. Um, Considering it's 318 Earths and it's 98% hydrogen, it should be somewhere around 3 Earths by the time we're done. Uh, well, in theory, because hydrogen is a lot less uh, m dense than silicate. That's not going to be completely true, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to actually do this uh, through a collision. Now this has to heat up Jupiter a lot, like a lot, a lot. So, I think, I think Ceres may be able to do the trick. No, not big enough at all. See, if it was Earth we were trying to warm up, that would work. But we're going to have to go on a completely different scale. We're going to have to have, like, a rogue planet smashed into it. Uh, planet 9 would probably actually do the trick. So, we are actually going to launch Planet 9 at Jupiter at a grazing shot rotating in the opposite direction of Jupiter, and that should give a ton, a ton of damage and heat it up as much as possible. So it's rotational period. Which way is it rotating? That way. So, um, 200, oh, shoot. I don't think I can change the direction it's going. Can I do negative 279 to switch its direction? I don't know if that's an actual thing. Oh shoot. No, that's not what I wanted to do. No. Okay, so we're just going to switch this. We're just going to make it uh rotate very fast. Very, very fast. Because that's going to basically grind against Jupiter and rip it apart. Get rid of its atmosphere. And at the same time we want it to be going extremely quickly. We're going to give it 100 kilometers per second, which is going to do a ton of damage. Yeah, here we go. Oh no, we're actually going to miss because I slightly changed it. That's fine, we can just turn that so that we are going to hit Jupiter. And here we go, so saying that a small uh, planet, like planet, well, planet nine is actually quite a large planet, but another smaller planet collides with Jupiter just in the right way to give it a ton of heat and eject a bit of its atmosphere. Or we're, we're trying to get rid of all of its atmosphere pretty much at this point uh, and all of its gas mass. So let's see what temperature we're hitting here. Jupiter is at 7,000 degrees, and we can see the amount of gas being ripped apart and thrown out of Jupiter. Now, the hope is that Jupiter shrinks because of this. The amount of heat causes it to expel its material, and it looks like... So at first it's going to gain a bit because of the collision. Actually, it's lost a lot just through being thrown out. Now we want to hope that it heats up to a point where it starts expelling its mass. 
but it doesn't look like it did. It looks like it's going to take a lot more than that to heat Jupiter up to the amount we want. But for the sake of this video, we're going to manually do this. We're going to put it up to 10,000 degrees um, Celsius, which is pretty... Yeah, we need it. It fits over 10,000 degrees, so if we had hit it with something a bit larger, we would have gotten this as the result, which would be Jupiter slowly expelling the gas. And as we can see, as it throws the gas off, Jupiter will shrink. This will take a while, though. We can see its mass drop. And what is it at now? Jeez, that actually did not do much. No, you must eject your mass. There we go. So, uh, the more... <laughs> extreme the heat is the more extreme the amount of mass uh, Jupiter loses so we're going to push it up to the point where it would take an incredible collisions uh, collision to pull this off but we're just going to put it at a number where it'll just shed most of its mass and that would be done through a collision like the one we pulled off Ooh, we actually completely killed completely killed Jupiter there <laughs> so um actually try to do this with an actual collision I'm not I don't think I can I, I think the limit to what I can simulate in this game once the numbers get really big it starts getting a little bit inaccurate so we're going to say yes we have found a way to shut off uh, Jupiter's 98% of Jupiter so that brings us down to three about three yards worth of uh, Jupiter and we have stripped off the atmosphere, which would have left Jupiter like so, uh, kind of just a rock. Um, this also creates a ton of trouble for the inner solar system because Jupiter actually protects from a lot of asteroids and objects, but uh, who cares, you know, who needs that? So Jupiter is now at this point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it water and we're going to need to either have a bunch of small things hit Jupiter over time or we can go for a moon like Europa which is high in water and will gladly put all that water onto Jupiter if it actually hits it. Whoop. Maybe I should do this with the launch tool. Hey, launch tool, you want to work? <laughs> and boop. And we'll just make this go very, very fast. I don't think Jupiter is going to mind another collision. Whoa! We missed, but... It actually ripped enough water off of Europa that it didn't even matter. So look at that. Jupiter now has water. Uh, well, more of ice at the moment. The next thing we have to do is make Jupiter warm. Now this is where we didn't want to rip off the entire atmosphere. Sadly, the game doesn't actually simulate uh, hydrogen as atmosphere. They're separate. So instead, what we're going to do is we want to have kept a bit negative atmospheric mass really we're going to want to have kept a lot of atmosphere um this is going to be a point of it's kind of a catch-22 because if we put it too high it would honestly crush everyone but if we don't put it high enough we won't be able to get the greenhouse effect to keep Jupiter warm so let's keep it at 10 atmospheres to start um we'll see what this does to the temperature Ooh, this may actually be perfect. The temperature is moving up negative 37. But if we turn down the albedo and let more sunlight hit the surface, it's only negative 11 degrees now. <laughs> Look at that. So by keeping some atmosphere on Jupiter, we're able to keep it pretty warm. And even though it's been through some catastrophic collisions, it's still, well, there. So, we're going to now go to the next level, and what we can also do 
is we can turn we can turn up the greenhouse effect but that's kind of cheating directly changing that so we're gonna turn up the atmosphere a little bit further 14 atmospheres I feel like it's going to actually get rid of that over time no maybe not so 14 atmosphere brings us to about the temperature of earth this is dropping that's not good are we losing atmospheric mass over time or is it just unstable it appears to just be unstable so we are going to bump this up to 15 atmospheres now this is getting to the point where uh, we have to be worried about things on Jupiter actually getting crushed from the weight of the atmosphere but overall it's we'll find a solution to that if if this actually happened I'm sure we'd find a solution so now Jupiter is actually a nice temperature for people and it has water an atmosphere and it seems to be working out pretty well so how can we finish this off well that's a great question it would be nice if we had a way to keep the temperature up without having the atmosphere so so high because that's a lot of pressure um that's a lot of pressure <laughs> um so let's jump over to materials and see the likelihood for life. Earth similarity is 92.7%. That's actually very, very high considering. And the life likelihood is at 5%, which is a actual good chance for um, an object that's been through so much. Now what would be better is if Jupiter somehow was deorbited. <laughs> Yes, this is getting even less realistic, but let's just uh, pull this off just to show what it would have been like, and that's not what we're touching here. We're not touching inclination. We, we can move ourselves all around. All around. But we're going to tap this and we're going to turn this down until we're in about a little bit less than Mars I think so this could be achieved through hitting Jupiter with something or finding a way to deorbit it uh, no way possible at the moment to do that also it's getting a little bit hot so we're gonna turn the atmosphere down to two atmospheres and I think that's going to balance everything out perfectly so let's check that out and it's holding out at 103 degrees <laughs> so we're going to now it's three times the mass of earth which is why i want more atmosphere but we can turn up the albedo to about 30 percent that's going to reflect 30 percent of the sunlight that hits jupiter and it's going to dramatically decrease its temperature let's bring it to 50 percent 60%, 70%, okay, it seems that 70% is going a bit too far, 65%, 65% albedo seems to be pulling off a fairly comfortable temperature, um, and look at that, Jupiter, very livable now, and if we go to the materials and look at the simulation, now it's got a 33% chance for life, which I think is a pretty impressive number, and I think we're going to leave it here, uh, Jupiter through quote-unquote realistic means, <laughs> as in possible, but extremely improbable, um, terraformed, yeah. Can't wait for uh, the life update for this game. That will make these videos a lot better. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time. And there is our great Jupiter, all terraformed. Proud of it. It did well. Very well. Good job, Jupiter.